Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today I have a pretty popular watch from Victorinox, which is a really great brand and I've reviewed a few of their products in the past and I've always been pleased with them. And nonetheless, this one is pretty stunning as well. This is actually from their Inox collection, which is a really tough, you know, kind of robust watch that has been through over 130 tests and is one of the toughest watches in the world. Now this is the Inox uh, Carbon Edition. So it's actually made of carbon fiber, which is really cool. And uh, the exact model number is 241859. Uh, price point is 850 US dollars. That's on Victorinox's web shop. Uh, link will be down in the description below. Now today, I am wearing my Apple Series 3 watch. It's 9, 12. And there's Mickey Mouse right there. Uh, just a fun watch. I wear it sometimes when I work out. I just recently started working out again, so I uh, kind of threw this on. Anyway, here's the Pelican style. I believe this is kind of like a waterproof style uh, container here that it comes in really tough and durable. A uh, nice little, you know, holder there. Two buttons, here, two buckles here. Pop these open, and inside should be the watch. So there's the watch, but you do get all of your warranty information, instruction manual, and all that good stuff in here as well. But let me just take this off right here. As you can see, it does reveal everything. The uh, part that goes over is actually a compass style uh, protector or bumper. And you get an extra rubber strap and below that is the extra kind of uh, NATO style uh, piece that you put on. I'll show you towards the end of the video. But here's the watch itself. And let me get this out of here. And let's take a look at it. So here it is. As you can see, quite a robust tool looking field style kind of watch I'd say. And uh, let's get into it, guys. In the flesh, it's quite a stealthy watch, in my opinion. Definitely uh, with that kind of dark gray carbon fiber, as you can see. So carbon fiber is an extremely robust, tough material. And uh, definitely something suitable for something like the Victorinox Inox, as you can see here. Very smooth, though. The same exact K-shape as you would see on the steel version. Uh, with that bezel with the kind of uh, carved out edges here. As you can see, get you a quick look around. But yeah, nonetheless, uh, this is a 43 millimeter case diameter. So as you see, 43 across here. In terms of weight, it's about 99 grams uh, on this power cord strap. We'll get more into the strap towards the end of the video. But 99 grams, so it's pretty lightweight, you know. that Also, the carbon fiber definitely helps with that. There are also numerous amount of variations. There's actually a limited edition model of this exact watch um, with like a yellow version. It's really cool on their website that I saw. Anyway. In terms of actual case thickness, we are looking about 12.7 millimeters. So, you know, really not that chunky, 12.7, including this bezel. So, you know, the case would probably be 12 even. Uh, so, yeah, not that bad at 12.7. Now, the actual carbon fiber case itself is made from a carbon composite uh, that has been that has actually protected space shuttles from reentry uh, temperatures in excess of 1,260 degrees Celsius. So it's definitely an extremely robust watch. If this can make it through that type of heat, uh, I think you should be safe in all situations with this watch, including uh, any situations in the water. This watch does contain uh, 200 meters of water resistance with a screw down crown and a screw down steel case back. So you can definitely take this one swimming as well. No issues there whatsoever. And yeah, um, this watch is running the Swiss Ronda Quartz 515, which is pretty typical in the Inox series. Uh, it has an end of life e uh, indicator or EOL, so it will tick like it'll skip it. It'll skip a tick, and you'll know when your battery is about to run out. Now included with this watch also is a genuine sapphire crystal, of course, as you can see there. Uh, this sapphire crystal does have three coats of air coating. Uh, it allows for real legibility, you know, great legibility in highlight conditions and in the sun. And this one is definitely extremely legible, especially with those applied. Uh, numerals going on the dial with the loomed shield uh, right below the 12 o'clock position there, which is pretty cool. It does utilize, utilize a Swiss Superluminova, which is pretty typical of Victorinox. So the loom glows, uh, it's a greenish color and it's pretty strong. It glows pretty bright. And we do also have a date uh, sh stuck between the 4 and the 5 position. You really can't notice it until you look really close there. As you can see, there is the date window. It cuts off the edge of the 5 and the left side of the 4. And it has a white background with black numerals. Definitely legible. It definitely stays out of the way, though, when you really want to take a quick glance at your wrist and read the exact time at any given moment. Now, this watch also does have a 22 millimeter lug width, so suitable for tons of different straps. A NATO straps. Uh, what other types of straps do I use? 
um, you know, type, all different types of fabric, NATOs, um, power cord straps, obviously. I think it looks at home right on this strap. There's really no need to change it as this one is extremely comfortable and extremely tough and resilient as well. Now, this strap here, as you can see, it's a power cord. Um, they do make also keychains and stuff like that out of this. It's in black with little speckles here. And it does come with a NATO style material end here. But as you can see, they do include one extra, which is about an inch or two longer. So if your wrist is way bigger than mine, you should have no problem fitting it. You just slap this off right here, under here, and you, you can throw on the longer one if you wish. But nonetheless, it's a pretty cool strap, uh, something I've never seen before in, in the flesh. We do get a blacked out buckle here as well, and just very flexible. It, uh, I, don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Now the case back itself is pretty typical of Victorinox. Kind of reminds me of Rolex with sterile case backs, spiral uh, brushed finish, all 316L stainless steel with some specifications, and your uh, personal serial number as well. You do get Swiss made because this is a Swiss made timepiece. Now the dial is fairly simple as you can see here. Uh, one thing I did notice is that the second hand does hit all the markers on this model, which is something that a lot of people have said in the past in my other videos. But this one, uh, very good, very good. No quality control issues there. Uh, not that would be something like quality control. It's very typical on quartz watches for them not to hit exactly, but this one does. So it does take 200 meters here. Victorinox Swiss Army applied Swiss Army logo below the 12. And of course you do get a 0 through 60 here on the chapter ring uh, when you want to set the exact second or read the exact second. So yeah, nonetheless, uh, let's take a look at the loom now. Um, I'm going to get my torch right here. As you can see, I'm just going to give it about two, 10 seconds. Let's see how the loom is. Okay, that should be good. And there she glows. As you can see, the loom is really good. It actually looks a little brighter on the hour and minutes hands, uh, but definitely legible at night. I like that they do light up the little shield at 12. I think that's pretty cool. But as you see, it doesn't really fade quickly. It's pretty typical Swiss Super Luminova. And it gets the job done. Now here's the watch fitted on my 6.5 inch wrist. As you can see, it wears really uh, slim to the wrist. It really hugs the wrist and wraps around nicely with that power cord. I think that looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of like something you would wear if you were in the army or something like that. All right, and there's the back side of the strap. I did tuck the remaining underneath and I believe that's how you're supposed to do it. But uh, I thought this strap with the power cord would not be so comfortable, but it's actually really comfortable. I have no issue with it whatsoever. Uh, definitely a little more comfortable than a typical NATO strap or something like that. And yeah, I think it looks pretty cool, stealthy, great for, you know, camping, hiking, tough activities, swimming as well. Uh, an all-around great summertime watch, an outdoor watch, definitely. And yeah, I think it looks great on my wrist. Now, as I did mention, this does come with a genuine rubber strap as well. And Victorinox rubber straps are made of real rubber. It's not silicone. So, and these straps are pretty comfortable. Um, they're pretty typical of the ones seen on most of the Inox. And they do come with extra spring bars as well. Your standard buckle, two safety keepers here. Uh, definitely a good backup, but this type of model, if I'm paying, you know, for the special carbon fiber and all that cool stuff, uh, I probably want to keep it on the paracord. Kind of fits the aesthetic of the piece a little more. But if you want to go swimming and don't want to get the power cord strap wet, even though you can, I would definitely throw on this nice genuine rubber strap. Uh, pretty flexible as well and definitely a great option if you want to switch out there. Now if you are feeling like a true nature enthusiast and you're hiking up a mountain, you need to know northeast, south, or west, or you're in the forest somewhere, this is the bumper, the protective bumper, which is actually pretty cool. If you look at it in full, it actually looks pretty neat. Definitely makes the watch a lot larger. Also, stops anything from hitting the crown itself. Uh, this crown is screwed down, as you can see here, so nothing's going to hit the crown or anything like that, and it really protects the whole watch there. Now, to actually function this watch, as you can see, let me just take this bumper off. So the crown itself is signed and a bit darker in black. I believe it's made of steel. And you just unscrew the crown here. You have integrated crown guards, so nothing is really going to knock this crown from the top or bottom. Solid pop-out. Your first position is your quick set date, as you can see there. Final position is hacking and you can set the time just like that. And you just screw it back in with ease like that and you're all good to go. Pretty simple watch to use, great everyday watch. I think uh, this one is definitely a winner in my book. And I definitely do like this a bit more than some of the other Inox models. It's definitely different. Um, you're really not gonna see this watch on many people's you know, wrists, you know, out in public and such. So I think it's a great addition to the Inox collection. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Improvements, what do you like about it? What don't you like about it? I think it's something cool, it's something different to add to the collection. 
and I definitely look forward to seeing uh, what Victorinox has for us in the future. As always guys, definitely subscribe, hit that like button, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much again. Bye. <laughs>